Hey, what's up guys? This is Von Cast Iron 1 Super 1 bringing you a short guide on how to beat Achilles at Fanarana. To get the original gamer achievement, you have to be able to beat Achilles at Fanarana at the homestead, but you also have to win two other games. They are Morris and Bowles. This game is probably the hardest one and the difficulty is set to expert on the homestead. So inevitably it can take a bit of time to be able to win and can get quite frustrating. First thing first, you must read all the rules. You have to know the rules inside and out, otherwise you stand no chance of winning. Only when you know and understand the rules should you start playing. Once you play, it doesn't matter how much you bet to get the achievement, so just bet as much or as little as you like. Now, I generally like to go second, as this allows me to take more pieces, as you can see here in my game. If you want, you can do exactly every move that I do, but you have to be careful because sometimes the computer won't do exactly as he does in my game. So I think it would be better if you watch what I do throughout the video and took in the tips that I am about to give you. I generally split the game in two. For the first half of the game, my aim is to take as many pieces as possible. Then, as more and more pieces are removed from the board, my tactics change, and this is building up to the end of the game. This is the most important part, but we'll come back to that later. The aim for the start of the game is to simply take as many pieces as possible without losing too many of your own. The easiest way to take lots of pieces is by doing consecutive moves. If you take an opponent's piece, then you can make another move providing that you can take another piece. This allows you to build up a series of moves in one turn and take many of your opponent's pieces. Another way to take pieces is if you take any piece, all the pieces behind it will be taken off the board too. This is great for getting rid of big rows of your opponent's chips. The best thing you can do is to try and do a combination of the two. Taking lots of his pieces and making consecutive moves can result in removing a large number of his chips just in one turn. Eventually, you should have taken most of his pieces, and now the tactics change. This generally happens about the time when you start having to move your own chips rather than taking pieces every turn. Now your aim when you move your chips should be to shepherd his chips to the edge of the board, and then you'll be able to take them. Because all his pieces are at the edge of the board, you can start to take each piece one by one. To do this, you simply place one of your pieces in front of one of his that are at the edge of the board, then he can't take you because he can't move backwards, but you can take him next turn. In fact, the computer can't escape. No matter where he moves, left or right, or up or down, he can't escape from being taken by your piece. Therefore, your aim throughout the game should be to force his pieces to move to the edge of the board, then you can start taking all his pieces. My final and probably most important tip is patience. You don't want to rush any of your moves, especially towards the end. Keep thinking each move through before you make it. See here in my game, although he only has a few pieces left for me to take, it still takes me a couple of minutes, so I have to take my time. It's very easy to fall into a trap the computer can set for you and end up losing the game because of it, so just be patient and you should win. Well that's it from me, thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions please do ask in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. I hope this guide has helped you and good luck when trying to beat Achilles. Don't worry if you don't succeed on your first try, he is quite tricky to beat and may take more than one attempt. Thanks for watching, see you next time.